Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Lone Star State and the very mammoth AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Washington Redskins. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Here comes Johnson on the return. Smith and the Redskins will come up now first and ten. On first and ten, Smith. And his first pass is incomplete. Sean Lee, the linebacker, able to get a hand in in coverage. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Here's second and ten now from about the 32. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. Peterson, Charles, at age 33, I think when he signed with the Redskins, people were wondering, what would this season be like? Well, it started off pretty good. Yeah, and you remember the reason why they're asking that question. Age 33. Last season didn't end very well in Arizona. Had some good games, but was hurt down the stretch. Didn't have those games again. But now, 96 yards in the season opener for Washington at Arizona. Comes back for 20 against Indianapolis. And then 120, a big performance against Green Bay. At his best, you're getting to Adrian Peterson, the defense is clear. He'll go over the middle to Reed, complete. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, Smith. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. Tyrone Crawford with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Here's Smith now on second down. They'll roll him out right. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't he? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. Now they're coming up on play number eight of this opening drive, but they're looking at a third and long. Play action. It's Smith. Rolling to his right. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. And he gets this away. Look at this. This is a good one. So Prescott to the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Prescott to throw it. And this one hauled in by Tavon Austin. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. To give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. First down, incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To the air again, Prescott. And incomplete on the deep ball. The intended receiver, Tavon Austin, and it's third down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Prescott yet again. Gets it to Bryce Butler complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. First catch for him. It's good for a dozen and a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's go 47. They'll throw again. Prescott. And his throw here's incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. On second down, Prescott again. Flush to his right. And some room to maneuver. And avoids the contact by sliding. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and 10. They give us to Elliott. They find some open field here. 
And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, 29 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. No, oh, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a letdown there. And this will stay a six-point ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Now here's Johnson. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Washington Redskins right now sitting at 3-2. and two. Interesting last couple of weeks. You look back to week five, Monday night game on the road. They got annihilated by Drew Brees and the Saints. A win that you saw in person against Carolina. And it really shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. When you see an NFL team take a beating like they took in New Orleans, if they are halfway decent, expect their pride to come out in the next game. And that's exactly what we saw against Carolina. Started fast, got out to a 14 to nothing lead, Strong throughout. Defense reacted a whole lot better than they did on Monday night. Josh Norman, their star cornerback, caught a lot of grief about what happened. Got briefly benched against New Orleans. He had one of his better games on Sunday against Carolina. Had an interception and a forced fumble. Smith on first down. And Reed with it over the middle. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. They run again on first down, Peterson. And he's gonna take this one down inside the 45. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Hey, when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. On second down, here's Smith. Over the middle, complete. That's Reed. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Smith fighting his big tight end Reed for a Redskins first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. First down, here's a run with Peterson. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. What's the old expression, three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now, we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. That catch good for five. It's third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They'll run it. Here's Peterson. And down inside the 15 he goes. The 13 yards that time at a first. First down now, but that clock rolling. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Sean Lee, the pro bowler, there for the tackle. To throw on second down to Smith. Sliding out of the pocket. 
toward the sideline. He will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll run for it with Peterson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cracks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think you even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. Now we've got whistles here before the snap. Was this on the Redskins? I think so. And things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Hey, let's go. Now Smith. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. On third down. That's Thompson. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining. So now on fourth down, the Redskins will hand things over to their kicker, Dustin Hopkins. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Hopkins' kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now 6-3. to three. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. Bust through the tackle, and he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. I'd have to say the most impressive team of week six. You're about to see him come back out here on offense. It had to be the Dallas Cowboys. Maybe some people saw them beating Jacksonville. You know, it was at home, but 40 to 7. I don't know that many people saw that coming. Not at all. And they've always had trouble making their home stadium a true tough place for visitors to visit. Well, they're 3 0 at home for the first time since 1999. Dak Prescott used his legs in a big way, a career high 82 yards rushing. And he also connected nine times with Cole Beasley, two of them for touchdowns. That Dallas team got off the mat after a disappointing Sunday night loss against Houston and jumped on Jacksonville. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers, and somehow, some way, they make plays on the football, and sometimes you're there too soon. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Good, good, good. Hey, here we go, 48. Here we go, 46. On first and ten, Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. To throw is Prescott. He shakes it off. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And that takes us from second to third down.
final play of the half. Prescott. He's going to let. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? And they extend their lead. A little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? And now this will be the final play of the half as with no time remaining, they'll try and add two more to the lead right before intermission. They'll throw now on the final play. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure maybe that was for the best as that brings us to the end of this first half of play we have hit halftime still two more quarters to go we'll take a timeout we'll be back after this you're watching the nfl and it's on ea sports it's in the game The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. This fielded at the two. Now a hit and a loose football. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Let's just call that play exactly what it is. Needed because they wanted to get back in the game, and they knocked the ball free, and now they have a chance to do exactly that. They got the chance. Now they have to take advantage. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Now it's Smith. And now the ball's loose. Smith loses it. And the Cowboys have recovered. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around. And we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. Drive with Elliott. Shreds the tackle. He's got room to run past the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys! Ezekiel Elliott, 91 yards. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And now Jason Garrett electing for his guys to try for two. Hey, 
They'll let Elliott try and run it in. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. And he is into the end zone again. So get him some oxygen. He scores on the long run and then punches in the two-point conversion for good measure. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Out comes another possession, and they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly, they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. It's brought in by Jamison Crowder. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys' side of the field. A big play, Smith to Crowder, 58 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. From the red zone now, Smith. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I know in every game we do, we talk about momentum. That was a momentum play lost. And now there could be a letdown because they didn't get the interception. Yeah, you could almost hear the collective gasp on the sideline as he could not come up with that football. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. They give it to Peterson. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. From the gun on third down, Smith. And then we looking for Crowder, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jeff Heath. He's at the 50. He's at the 30.